today in this video we're going to be looking at how to process waste chemicals. So the first thing you're going to do when you get a waste chemical is open up FileMaker in Cisc Pro. Once Cisc Pro opens up, log into it, and then you're going to look up the chemical based off its chemical its barcode number. In this case it is E12523. Now, once you get to the chemical, you're going to open up the MSDS for it. This will be used later when you're filling out the yellow card because it holds all the information on the chemical. Now, you can close that and while you're on the chemical, click dispose. Then make sure that the disposal date is correct and yet authorize it to be removed from the system. Now that you've done that, you need to go to FileMaker. In FileMaker, you're going to create a waste ID number. So, once you get there, you're going to log in. And after you log in, you're going to click New Record. New Record will create a new entry. And the first thing it's going to prompt you for is the primary hazard. You can get that off the MSDS sheet. Now you're going to enter the waste ID number, which can be either gotten from the chemical above or off the whiteboard. In this case, it is US14264. The quantity of the chemical you're wasting, what state the chemical is in, and then the date that you're disposing of the chemical. Finally, in the container contents, you're going to put whatever chemical is inside the container you're wasting. If it is a mixture, make sure that you list all of the components individually. After you do that, you're going to need to print off a sticker with the waste ID on it that you can put on the chemical. So you're going to go to the Dynamo label printer, and once the Dynamo label printer opens up, you're going to modify the sticker template. So, in the sticker template, you'll delete the previous information, and you'll put the new U.S. Waste ID number. In this case, it is 14.264. Next, you have to make sure you modify the storage date. You want the storage date to be the day that you're waste putting it in storage. So, once you get that all filled out, click the print button, and it will print a barcode or a sticker for you. Next, you're going to fill out the yellow waste disposal card. You're going, on this card, you're going to put the department wasting it, the chemical you're wasting, its concentrations, the size of the container, and the amount of waste in the container, as well as the primary hazard. After you get that filled out, you're going to put the waste ID sticker on the waste card. Now, before you store the chemical, be sure to parafilm the top. This way, when it is being stored, it will not leak, and it will be safer for everyone involved. After you get the top completely sealed, you're going to put your waste card on the chemical. Every chemical that is being wasted must have a waste card attached to it. After you get the waste card attached, you're now going to make sure you store it properly in one of the designated areas in the bunker. And make sure you store it in the bunker near only compatible chemicals. And that is what, how you waste a chemical.